Hello everyone. I am back with yet another video in biology. Today we are going to mount pollen grains under a compound microscope. What are pollen grains? You have learned about pollen grains. Oh, by the way, you must have studied about structure of flower, isn't it? So, what is a flower? A flower is a reproductive part of a plant. So, it has got different parts: the petals, sepals. The pistil, this part is the pistil. This pistil contains stigma, style, and ovary which are inside this part. Okay, that's the female reproductive part of the flower. And these parts that you can see, these are antho and filament. That's the male reproductive part of a flower. This male reproductive part of a flower. That is on the end now contains pollen grains. What are pollen grains? The male gamete. So today we are going to observe this male gamete that is pollen grains under a compound microscope. So let's begin with the procedure. This experiment is taken from standard 10th science practical. So you can refer to your journal for more experimental details. We are going to do experiment number 7B from your science journal. Aim to mount and observe pollen grain under compound microscope. We are going to take hibiscus flower. Apparatus or materials require slide, cover slips, needle. You require flowers for the anther that is pollen grain and we are going to use compound microscope. So let's begin with the procedure. Take a clean slide and take hibiscus flower and gently tap above the slide so that all the pollens will fall on to the slide. Now take a drop of water and put one or two drops of water and with the help of forceps use a cover slip to cover the specimen of pollen our slide is real if you feel there is an excess water just take a blotting paper and remove the excess water that's your compound microscope we are going to watch the slide that we have prepared under this microscope as you can observe under the microscope these are the pollen grains of hibiscus flower 